Hey guys, this is Diego Diablo from MindsPaint.com. I just finished a portrait of a girl and her dog. So I just wanted to share with you this um, painted portrait. I shared the video and actually uploaded it. Oh, I'm going to do that in a minute. So I just kind of downloaded it and uh, filmed it. So I just want to show you what I did. It's all um, it's done in sepia. So I just mixed sepia, which is by Wicked. So detailed sepia, actually. That's what the... It's called, and then I mixed some high performance 412 reducer, and then I kind of mixed them and blended it, and just used the dark tones for the dark areas, like here, here, and here, and then used a mix of the reducer and uh, the color to get the mid tones in there. So I'm really happy with how, how it came out. It took me a few hours, probably like four more than I thought, I was gonna knock it out like in one or two. But it took me a lot longer, but I think it was worth it, the extra time and the detail. And if you look really closely, you can see all the highlights. I knocked them out with a um, pencil, um, the one kind of fa Faber-Castell Castell pencils. faber Castells, whatever you call them. I think it's what you call them. And then you uh, etched it out, just erased the lines in there really nice, and I uh, used an old needle to scrape away the texture and the details in the um, fur and all that right there. So you can see the scrape marks and everything there. And then I blended it over with an airbrush and you know made it really nice and soft and light. So if you zoom in and zoom out far away, it looks really cool with all the small like details in the hair and uh, gave him a really cool like glowing effect and um, you know really kind of made him very majestic with his hair blowing. That's kind of how I added it. So here's the original photo from there, and then there's the uh, how it is here. So I try to keep, keep very close to the reference but do my own kind of touch to it and um, all that. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna add the girl in there. I just wanted the, um, the dog and I wanted to really do a really awesome portrait of him. Um, but just separating the two didn't seem, didn't feel right. I didn't think it would be a good composition and a good image if I did that. So I kind of added her in there. And um, you know, hopefully everyone uh, likes it and how it came out so i uh, appreciate you guys for following me if you have any questions any comments uh please subscribe to my channel i appreciate that and let me know what you think and hopefully these little tips helped with the um you know using the etching tools and uh, the last thing actually is i have a really cool tool that um a really awesome artist uh that just for passed away um told me about actually i saw it on one of his videos and um you know, just use it to etch out the little details and burn them out and bring out the little highlights in there. And um, so I just wanted to, you know, give him a shout out and, uh, you know, let him know that I appreciate all of this stuff. So there you go. And um, talk to you guys later. So I appreciate it. And follow us up and drop a comment. Let me know what you think.